Good evening and first at six sports at public high schools in the state have been given the go ahead to begin summer workouts. That's right, but according to 7 News reporter Henry Coburn, it's not as straightforward as it may sound. Yeah, that's right. The South Carolina High School League announced yesterday that sports can resume training this summer. However, unlike surrounding states like Alabama and Georgia, North Carolina, there's no guidance as to a specific start date. Instead, the state leaves it up to the individual districts to decide when to restart training. There is one stipulation, though. Schools or districts can only allow the limited summer activities when academic activities resume on campus. Now, I miss my guys. I miss getting out here and coaching them and watching them compete. Lane Fowler has been the head boys basketball coach at Burns High School for 11 years now. He's been keeping up with his team over the past few months from afar. We've, we've had a couple group uh, Zooms. We've had uh, uh, FaceTime. We actually did the whole team on a FaceTime call, so that was kind of different but neat. But he says there is just no replacement for that in-person interaction. You know, the good job giving them a pat on the butt, pat on the back, putting your arm around them. Under phase one of the South Carolina High School League's return to team sports guidelines, Fowler won't get the classic coaching interaction with his guys, but he will be able to start coaching them again with new protocols in place. Phase one requires social distancing at all times, daily health screenings, face coverings most of the time for athletes and at all times for coaches, shut down locker rooms and more sanitization of equipment. Burns High School Athletic Director Tony Gillespie says he and his staff expected these guidelines and were prepared. He says the lack of the definitive start date though leaves room for questions. When can we get kids on campus per a district and then at that point how are we going to implement the phase one that the high school league has released for working out. Gillespie will be meeting with District 5 superintendent this upcoming Monday to hammer out the details of when summer workouts will resume here at Burns High School. And of course, you can count on us to keep you up to date with the latest developments as we get them. In Duncan, I'm Henry Coburn, 7 News.